Against all odds, Afghanistan is racing ahead with five massive infrastructure projects. These aren't just development plans on paper. They're earth-moving, concrete-pouring, game-changing undertakings aimed at turning deserts into farmland, reshaping the capital city, and plugging Afghanistan into regional energy markets. But can these projects deliver on their promises? Or are they just bold dreams built on shaky foundations? From an enormous irrigation canal and a brand new city to hydropower dams, and an international electricity bridge, this video breaks down the five mega projects that could redefine Afghanistan's future. Kosh Tepa Canal, turning desert into farmland. In northern Afghanistan, bulldozers are carving through dry, empty plains to build what could be the country's agricultural lifeline, the Kosh Tepa Canal. Stretching 285 kilometers across the desert, this canal is designed to irrigate over half a million hectares of barren land, an area roughly the size of Delaware in the U.S. or half of Lebanon. As of early 2023, about 100 kilometers of the canal had already been dug. The second phase, which extends the canal deeper into Balkh province, is reportedly 81% complete. It may not look high-tech, Construction uses cut-and-fill methods with earthen walls and basic gates to manage flow. But it's a monumental feat for a country where infrastructure development has stalled for decades. Still, questions remain. In August 2023, a 9-kilometer breach in the canal triggered serious concerns about construction quality and water loss. Some engineers worry that without proper lining, the canal may leak heavily or even collapse in sections. Then there's the regional angle. The Kosh Tepa Canal diverts water from the Amu Darya, a major river that flows into Uzbekistan and feeds the shrinking Aral Sea. Officials in Tashkent have warned that the canal could intensify water shortages in the region. But if completed as planned by 2028, Kosh Tepa could help Afghanistan feed itself, boost exports, and shift thousands of families from subsistence to commercial farming. Kabul New City a brand new capital. Afghanistan's capital is bursting at the seams. With over 5 million people, Kabul has become congested, polluted, and stretched far beyond its infrastructure limits. Enter Kabul New City, a massive urban development plan aiming to build a modern city from scratch, just 20 kilometers north of the current capital. Covering 740 square kilometers, Kabul New City will be one and a half times larger than today's Kabul. It's designed to house 3 million residents in well-zoned neighborhoods with mixed-use developments, public parks, and modern transport systems. The first phase kicked off in 2023 with a 250-hectare pilot area expected to accommodate 12,000 people. It's still early days, but the government insists this isn't just another over-ambitious master plan. They're promising transparency in land deals and long-term investment opportunities. Challenges, though, are very real. Previous attempts at building new suburbs were derailed by land disputes, corruption, and shifting political landscapes. Security and economic instability also cast a long shadow over large-scale construction. But if Kabul New City stays on track, it could ease pressure on the existing capital and raise living standards in a country where urban planning is almost non-existent. Pashdan Dam Quenching western Afghanistan, near the ancient city of Herat, lies the partially completed Pashdan Dam, a project with the power to transform life for thousands of farmers and villagers in western Afghanistan. Built on the Hari River, the dam includes a 70-kilometer canal network aimed at irrigating 13,000 hectares of farmland. It also features a modest hydropower facility expected to generate 2 megawatts enough to supply several rural districts. Construction began in 2011 but stalled after the 2021 political shift. As of late 2023, the project is about 80% complete, and authorities are racing to finish before the winter season makes further work impossible. If completed, Pashdan could bring much-needed water security to the region, 
boosting agricultural output and local employment. Farmers who rely on unpredictable rain could finally plan stable harvests, and some villages could get electricity for the first time. Bakshabad Dam Major hydropower and irrigation The Bakshabad Dam, in Farah province, is one of Afghanistan's most ambitious water projects. With an 81-meter-high wall and a capacity of 1.36 billion cubic meters, it promises to reshape the entire province's water supply. Two major canals will distribute water to an estimated 180,000 hectares of land, potentially allowing farmers to grow more profitable crops, such as fruits and nuts, instead of water-thirsty grains. The dam is also expected to produce up to 32 megawatts of electricity, enough to power all of Farah province and then some. But there's a catch. The Farah River flows into wetlands that stretch across the border into Iran. Environmentalists and Iranian officials have raised alarms about the dam's impact on shared ecosystems. If water flow is heavily restricted, it could harm fragile habitats and provoke diplomatic tension. Still, if done right, Bakshabad could provide energy, food, and long-term stability to one of the country's most underdeveloped regions. CASA 1000 – Energy Superhighway The Central Asia-South Asia Power Project, or CASA 1000, aims to turn Afghanistan into a vital electricity bridge between continents. This 1,387-kilometer transmission line will carry surplus hydropower from Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan through Afghanistan into Pakistan. Afghanistan doesn't just host the lines. It's set to receive up to 300 megawatts of electricity from CASA 1000, along with an estimated $50 million a year in transit fees, a significant revenue stream for a cash-strapped government. Tajikistan has reportedly completed 95% of its section, and international backers like the World Bank and USAID have stayed engaged despite political changes. Construction in Afghanistan has faced delays due to security concerns, but is still inching forward. If completed, CASA 1000 could help electrify large parts of Afghanistan, lower energy prices, and integrate the country into broader regional trade networks. From vast canals cutting through deserts to power lines stretching over mountains, these five projects show a side of Afghanistan rarely seen in global headlines. They represent the kind of long-term investment the country has sorely lacked, infrastructure that can create jobs, feed people, and light homes. But they also carry big risks. Poor construction, political instability, and regional disputes could derail them at any stage. Water projects, in particular, risk sparking tension with neighbors like Iran and Uzbekistan. So what's next? Will these mega-projects transform Afghanistan into a regional hub, or leave behind rusting machinery and half-finished promises? Let us know what you think. Are these the first signs of real development, or just another cycle of failed dreams? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more deep dives like this.